Hello everyone I welcome you all to the Infinite Division platform right now I'll bring one such question that came in your NEET examination this question came on NEET 2017 so let us see this question first question says the bulk modulus of a spherical object is b okay if it is subjected to a uniform pressure p the fractional decrease in the radius is we know that this bulk modulus is given by relationship bulk modulus is nothing but pressure divided by del b by v which is change in volume divided by original volume okay and it has to be in negative okay because this volume is keep on uh, if a uh, if an object is subjected to a pressure so its volume will keep on decreasing okay if it is subjected to an external pressure so its volume will keep on decreasing okay we will also it says that what would be the fractional decrease in the radius that you need to find out we know that volume is given by relationship 4 by 3 pi r cube okay since it is a spherical object so this its volume would be this and this is a expression for volume so the change in volume del del v by v is given by expression of 3 times of del r by r okay from using this equation you can easily find out the value of fractional change in volume okay and divided, uh, which is related to fractional change in radius so we'll be putting its value in it so that we can easily get the magnitude of pressure okay so the b so bulk modulus is nothing but minus p times del v v by del v v by del v is nothing but r by okay v by del v is nothing but r by 3 del r okay so this is the expression that we are getting if i'll talk about only magnitude so the, so the magnitude of the fractional change in radius is given by del r by r is comes out to be p by 3b so this is the magnitude of fractional change in radius that you should get so the answer the final answer that we are getting is p by 3b which is d option is a correct option that you should get okay for such type of questions you must remember this formula okay and as well as the uh, by using the formula of volume through which you can easily find out the fractional change in volume which is related to fractional change in radius okay i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you